Most of us, at one time or another, have enjoyed the sight of butterflies as they brighten our summer. But there's far more to these fragile insects than meets the eye. Most of the first red admirals you see in spring have flown all the way from southern Europe to sip nectar from English flowers. Numbers of painted ladies vary, but most years they stop over in Cornwall on their epic migration from sub-Saharan Africa. In exceptional summers, they can get as far as the Arctic Circle. As for the rarer silver-studded blue, which is found on the dune grasslands of St Ives Bay, its extraordinary life cycle depends on black ants. The caterpillars secrete a sugary solution which is lapped up by the ants in return for protection and nourishment inside the ant's nest. When it emerges from its chrysalis, the adult butterfly crawls to the surface where ants attend it as it inflates its wings. Butterflies are now known to be sensitive indicators of the well-being of our environment. Over the last 25 years, the number of butterflies has declined. This is a distress signal. Butterflies are telling us that the British landscape on which we depend is in trouble. In Cornwall, sadly, we see the same trend. Every year, CBC's meticulous observations have created a scientific record of overall declining numbers of butterflies in the county. Weather conditions and parasitic attacks take their toll, but long-term decline is of human origin. The most fundamental cause is the destruction of natural habitat by intensive agriculture, industry and housing development. They are in desperate need of uh, protection and protection means actually active conservation, understanding what their requirements are and putting that into practice. And that can only be done by um, hard graft in the field often and by volunteers and it's people like the members of the Cornwall branch of butterfly conservation who are actually the, on the ground level doing the good work. An army of volunteers is beginning to reverse these declines in Cornwall. The fruits of the work that the volunteers have been doing has already been proven. On Bodmin Moor, we did a lot of work last year for the Pearl Bordered Fritillary, one of our rarer butterflies. And this year, when we returned, we found a number of these butterflies where they hadn't been seen before. So that gave us a really good feel-good factor because we felt that all the, this work had been so worthwhile. Working with local landowners, more and more, farmers are realising the importance of protecting the natural environment and that producing food off the land need not destroy the important local ecosystems. Florence, in her 80s, lives and farms on Bodmin Moor, where her family has farmed for generations. Using traditional methods of farming, without the use of chemical fertilisers and not overgrazing, Florence has kept her land in good heart. Her marshlands have become a healthy and important habitat for the threatened marsh fritillary. The key to helping these species recover is in understanding their life cycles and ecology, so we can protect and restore the habitat on which they depend. They can be hard work. Volunteering with us is hugely rewarding, as well as educational and, of course, sociable. I really, really enjoy the day. It's, it's a great way to get outside, meet new people, and it's way better than going to the gym. <laughs> it's just really interesting to learn about your local environment because obviously it's something that you're, you're, you're surrounded by every day. But it's just great to find out about the wo local wildlife and how little things you can do can make a really big impact. Managing CBC projects involves not only people, but also funding. So by joining Butterfly Conservation, you will help us in our work. If you also choose to get involved as a volunteer, of course, you'll be welcomed with open arms. Cornwall Butterfly Conservation proves that we can all make a difference. The proof is that some endangered butterflies are coming back from the brink as a result of our combined efforts. When you join Butterfly Conservation, you will help to bring the bright wings of summer back to Cornwall's fields, valleys, moors and coastlines. <laughs>